Hey YouTube Rando here. Today's going to be an attempt to upgrade on my trauma pack that I keep inside of my uh, bug out bag. Now this isn't going to be complete at the end of this video so we'll definitely do an update on it and show you when we complete it but uh, I have most of the stuff, the majority of the materials I need to make the pack and this is my current one. This is what I carry inside my bug out bag. I have a first aid kit on the outside of my pack uh, that's more aimed towards, you know, minor cuts, br uh, scrapes, whatever. Uh, there's some medicines in there and stuff like that. But I wanted something, you know, just in case somebody breaks an arm or, you know, anything like that, uh, we can cover it in the bug out bag. So this is the kit we're going to be using to build the pack. Uh, this is just a first aid kit. We'll go ahead and should have did this before the video, but we'll go ahead and take everything out of here. Uh, this is just my home first aid kit. I do have an older metal box first aid kit that all this stuff will be transferred to. Uh, I just recently picked up this Johnson & Johnson pack and I wanted to build a trauma kit and it's just now occurring to me days later after I built a small first aid kit in this that I could use this pack for a trauma kit. Uh, right now I'm just using a uh, Ziploc bag and I want something a little bit more clearly marked just in case somebody else does have to go into my pack and find it. Uh, they can just open the main compartment and go straight to the pack itself. It's marked clearly with a large first aid cross, so sh you know shouldn't be any mistake in uh, what pack they're going after when they go into my compartment. All right, so this is what we're going to be starting with. We're going to go ahead and throw everything that's in the Ziploc bag in there, and then see if we can fit any more in there. So the first thing we're going to put in here is going to be some tape. I use this uh, cloth tape. It's kind of like a, it almost feels like nylon. Um, I'm allergic to certain kinds of tape, so I can only use, uh, I'll only put in here things I can use here. Some surgical gloves. I'm going to throw those in there. Uh, triangular bandage. There's all the uses for it. Mainly, uh, we would use it for like a sling or a uh, makeshift tourniquet. I'm gonna throw that in there. I have a few of these uh, X XU draw pads, kind of like a small surgical pad. We're gonna throw a mylar blanket in there in case somebody's in shock. Uh, throw some scissors in there these are what I refer to as butterfly stitches may not be the proper name for it it's uh, stary strips I'm gonna throw those in there a small suture kit I'm gonna throw that in there uh, here's another one of the XU draw pads these are really good uh, they soak up blood really well um, we'll throw a surgical dressing pad in there and a roll of gauze as well. Now this is just what's coming out of the other pack of course. So let's start fitting this stuff in there and see where we go. It starts taking up space uh, pretty quick so We want to try to uh, optimize the space in the bag, like right here, where it's empty. We'll throw a roll of gauze. Uh, the tape is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get in there. We'll go ahead and throw the suture kit in there with the butterfly stitches. 
let's see. I should probably take this out of the box. Save some space. A triangular bandage. Go ahead and get the tape in here. Get the scissors back here. It's always good to have an extra mylar blanket anyway, so I'm trying your bandage in here now. Alright, so it's getting pretty full pretty quick, so we'll go ahead and throw some more gauze in here. Gauze is always good. Um I do have some in my first aid kit, but actually quite a bit, so I probably don't need this. It may come out if I find I ran out of space on it and need more space for something else. Uh, I like this stuff right here. It can be used as a gauze material, but really it's for foot care. Um, if you mess your foot up and you're out and about, have to do some walking that can be considered a real emergency to me anyway so I always take care of my feet I have foot care packs inside all my packs uh, it's actually just a bag dedicated to foot care that I picked up from Walgreens uh, we'll throw in some flushing syringes flush out any wounds throw in a couple of those if I can get them in there uh, what else throw some of these in there in case it's an opened wound. Uh, this is the shoestring bandage that you actually stick inside the wound so it don't heal. Uh, it heals from the inside out instead of the outside in and creates an abscess. Stick this in there. You know, spider bites, things like that. This stuff works. So we'll throw one of those in there, at least one. I think I have two or three. I might throw more in there. Now these are the ones that's going to be a pain in the butt to fit, and I really want them. It's the abdominal pads. I want at least two of them. These things are huge, and uh, they're really absorbent, so I'd like to get a couple of these in there. We'll go ahead and throw, since they're nice and flat, we'll go ahead and throw a few more of those uh, shoestring bandages in there. And again, that's probably... Oh, well, I know it's not the proper term for it, but we're going to throw them in there anyway and call them what I call them. Triangular bandage, you got these. I was going to try to fit some of these in here. These are like medicated, uh, medicated foot pads, more or less. It's what they use on open wounds for, uh, like diabetics for open wounds on their feet. Uh, my dad had a huge wound on his foot that he had to have surgery on, and they were afraid they were going to have to move the, remove the back half of his foot. He stepped on a nail, and he didn't know it. I mean, he can't feel his feet. He's a, he's a diabetic, so uh, he has no circulation in his legs, barely. Uh, really, we're not going to throw any kind of Band-Aids or anything in there. I would like to get another pair of surgical gloves in there, just, you know, in case I have to treat the wound twice. So we'll try to get these in there right there somewhere. Just have some space right here. We'll throw some extra gauze. This is not sterile gauze, um, but I would use it in a pinch if I had to. So we'll throw that in there. And try to close it up with the abdominal pads in there. Kind of just sandwich it all together. T-shirts falling. Screw it. Had that on there. I was working on some other videos and I noticed on my videos the uh, the desk is just too dark. I need a placemat or something that's light colored, and I need to pick something up. I just have the time, so 
so you can see it's a uh, quite a bit bigger than the other pack was that's going to be a problem because I'm kind of confined on space on my pack which I did purposely but I should not have I should have uh, went ahead and got a bigger pack but I am going to get some extra pouches for it so maybe I can find a pouch that this will fit in uh, after I get some stuff emptied out of the main compartments and the side compartments and all that uh, like I said, it's not a complete kit. We're definitely going to have to add to it a little bit. Uh, so later on, we'll do an update. Once we get this thing completely full, we'll go ahead and do a teardown on it uh, on a video and update you guys to my complete kit. But that's going to be all I'm throwing in there for now. Uh, like I said, we'll update it. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.